Today we have a really cute, really quick little gift bag with a nice flower on it, and it perfectly complements the Alluring Florals bundle that we just released. So if you're working on a project for uh, the upcoming Mother's Day or just have uh, any project in mind for someone special and um, you want to include a cute little gift alongside your, uh, your, your floral arrangement, this is just for you. And it's also a great little project for someone that's brand new to Dreaming Tree. So I have all the pieces here in front of me. Let's take a look at this. Now, this is the main piece here. As you can see, it's actually just one piece and it goes together very easily. I've already pre-folded everything at the little score marks. So identify where your score marks are and let's get everything glued into place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this side here and this tab here and I'm gonna apply my glue. That was my first squeeze of the day. So the glue is kinda coming out rapidly. I haven't gotten a feel for the, the glue bottle yet, but we're going to put glue on that tab and simply line it up with this side here and just get that glued in place. Now this is a pattern paper and sometimes, not always, but with certain pattern papers they tend to uh, kind of grip like little magnets sometimes. Okay, so we'll get that first tab in place. Just make sure that you get it nice and lined up. And then we can move over to the other side. And that second squeeze is always better. That first one sometimes was a little out of control. And I'm just spreading the glue out all the way out to the edge so we get a nice clean seam. And then we're just going to go ahead and line that up with the edge. Just find that nice line there. Do your best to get that nice and lined up. And once you do, you can put it flat down on your table and push down to close it up. Make sure that you get it nice and aligned. Give it a little nudge here or there if necessary. Now you'll also notice that there's a little bit of a, a score mark here right on the side. And that's so that this thing actually can kind of fold in a little bit. Okay, like that. So it looks more like a, a bag instead of just being completely boxy. All right, so now at this point, we're going to go ahead and close this guy up. And I'm just going to put and apply my glue on both of these tabs just so we can kind of close it up in one fell swoop. And I'm going to run that glue right out to the edge. This glue is drying real quick on this paper today. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe my studio is extra dry for some reason. Okay, and let's close that up. Get it nice and aligned on both sides. Kind of almost fell into place. And I'm going to put it down. I can use a little dowel to get my extra pressure in there to get that to stick nicely. Now, depending on the pattern paper that you're using, um, mine is double sided and it's not really. It is kind of a white core, but I'm not really, it's not really displaying too much of the white. And because of this lighter pattern, this white kind of looks okay over here. If you want to, you can hit the edges with a little bit of ink. I don't think it's necessary. Next thing we're gonna do is take this little green strip. In my case, it's green. Yours might be a different color. And you wanna just kind of move it up and down until it fits the little, uh, little shape there on the front. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get that glued down. And just make sure that you eyeball that correctly. Since we've got glue on this now, we don't want to make a giant mess. So I'm just kind of using the bottom of it as my guide and then I'll flatten it out and apply it, put it down on my table and push down. Okay, there we go. And we have this little piece here, which goes right on the bottom and then it should fit pretty much perfectly to create that little scalloped element there at the bottom. 
So what we can do, we can do this all in one shot. We can do it in stages. I think we should be able to handle this kind of in one shot. So I'm gonna put glue on the bottom and then also put glue in these little scalloped areas here and here. And just kind of insert it into place nice and centered and then get that kind of scooched over to where it needs to be and just press and hold that down kind of holding down both sides with my fingers here and then you can just use a little dowel to add a little pressure to the inside to get that to stick nicely as well okay let's take a look that looks great so this is obviously going to be my front and then literally all that's left to do is um, just get our flower inked. If you want to ink it, you don't have to. I kind of enjoy the process, so I am gonna ink it. I'm gonna use a little bit of, actually that is not a turquoise. Well, that might work though. Kinda is turquoise -y. It's not my usual go-to. And it's a new ink pad. So I'm gonna rub some of that off. I don't want it to be too heavy. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink these petals here just to give this a splash of color. It's just very subtle. Yeah, I, think my, I think my standard turquoise may have worked a little bit better, but this this might actually work out for me nicely. Just very subtle. We'll, we're gonna hit the purple one or the lavender cardstock with a, a, a deeper purple. So maybe that will just kind of balance out nicely. You can go as heavy or as light on the inking as you would like. And that isn't really doing much. Could probably go a little bit heavier on the ink. And then we're going to take this with my quarter inch dowel, I think. Yeah, no, probably the three eighth inch dowel. And we're going to give the petals a little bit of a, a roundness to them. And um, just get them glued into place and call it a day. We have a cute little gift bag that takes just a few minutes from start to finish. And it's a cute little way to present a little gift to somebody special in your life. Okay. Yeah, and I did have to kind of go heavier with the inking. I maybe took a little bit too much off initially and it just like wasn't even visible at all. So I'm gonna revisit those first few petals that I did and give them a little more love just to kind of make them pop and stand out more. And especially once we once we hit this with the uh, the dowel to kind of train it and give it some dimension, it'll kind of help those those colors pop even more when the shadows start to hit them. So <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you, and I've seen a ton of the projects from our last bundle in the official Dreaming Tree group. So if you're not part of that group, head in there, because that's where all the action's at, and that's where you can see all the beautiful projects that our fans have completed recently and throughout our existence. And I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised at how many people took on um, some of what I would consider not really, not from a technical standpoint challenging, but um, maybe just from a time standpoint, because some, some of those projects that we just did with the flowers did take a little bit of time. And i um, just glad to see you guys got excited about them and just jumped right in and got them done in record time, I think. All right, so there's a, there's a little bit of blue on that. It's not overly prominent, which is fine. I didn't wanna, didn't wanna overdo it anyway. Now I have my, my favorite purple here, the eggplant color. Now this one, this ink pad is a little bit older. So I can probably dab that applicator in a little bit more than I would a new one. 
and I'm just going to hit probably like the top third of this just to give it some give it some color. I'm not going to be worried, overly worried about going all the way up and down each little petal. I just want to kind of make this stand out a little bit more than what the pa just the paper alone is doing for me here. And like I said, we're going to curl these really quick with our little dowel and our project will be done before you know it. And I've got some bling here too that I'm going to pop in the middle to make it sparkle. And our little bag will be done. But definitely don't, don't be afraid of trying out the inks. If you haven't inked before, grab your ink pad, grab your applicator, or if you're just using the ink pad straight up, grab a piece of scrap paper in the color that you are planning on inking and just try out different strokes and different techniques and different pressures. Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to experiment. I believe you will be pleasantly surprised with what you can achieve and even if you haven't done it before. So don't, don't be afraid to do that. Okay, so just the tips of that. All right, so for this smaller one, I've got my quarter inch dowel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it right in the center of each petal and then use my two fingers to curl that petal around the dowel, okay? And then we're also going to kind of fold the petals in to make them stand up a little bit so that they're not just laying flat. We wanna give them a little bit of life that way as well. So I'm just kind of shoving the dowel right in the center of the petal using two fingers to wrap it around the round part of the dowel and you can see what's happening there. You can see how the shadows are playing with that now because it's got a little bit of dimension to it now. Okay, and then you can take your dowel and just kind of fold it over the dowel to pull them in a bit so that they're not just lying flat. And I'm doing this initially, and then what you can do later on is just kind of use all your fingers to kind of pull them in like that. So now it's just sitting up instead of being flat like this one. Uh, I may go back to the quarter inch dowel with this, but maybe I think the three eighth inch dowel, well, three eighth inch is probably too much. Quarter inch might not be enough. I have this, this pen that's somewhere in between those two that I'm going to use to curl these just to give me that, that definition that I'm looking for in these little petals. There's a little piece there that maybe didn't cut out perfectly. Got snagged. Okay. And again, after we do that, I'm just going to kind of take that and bend it, curl it around my little pen here, like that, just to kind of bring it out. And then I feel more comfortable after I kind of use the surface of the pen to round that paper. I can then take it and be a little more rough with it. Okay, like that. So, next step is to take our purple piece. Just gonna put a little bit of glue in the center there. I'm gonna place this purple piece inside this white piece, right in the center. Make sure that you're offsetting the petals so that they're not overlapping. Okay, like that. Try to get it nice and centered, like so. Just like that. And then, I've got this we got this green bling. One of these is a little bit darker than the other. Uh, because this is kind of pastel -y, I'm just gonna go with the lighter tone just to play it safe. Put a little extra glue on there. This is sticky on the back, but sometimes that just falls off. And I'll grab my, pop that right on there. That's really pretty. And then all that's left to do is glue this guy right in the center of that little band. And then if you want, you can kind of line up these three petals here with the little scallops here, just for the sake of symmetry and just to make it pretty. Throw a little bit of glue on there and get that nice and centered. And we'll just let that set. And I would pick it up, but I'm afraid that it, this might come loose. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but 
Um, again, if you are new to Dreaming Tree, perfect little project to start out with. Uh, and if you are a seasoned veteran, this should go together in a breeze for you. But either way, hope you enjoyed the process. Uh, if you do, definitely take a second to subscribe to us on YouTube. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.